Today we're going to be testing out some protective accessories for your brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra by a company called Motive. Here we have a tempered glass screen protector, we have a regular case, and we also have a life-proof waterproof case. And you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end of the video because I will be doing a drop and a scratch test for the tempered glass screen protector and also a water test for the life-proof case. And by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not these screen protectors and cases are right for you. And if you guys want to pick these up, I will be putting product links in the video description. So let's get started. And here we have a clear case by Motive. So here is the case. It is clear. It's got MagSafe built in. It also has a nice firm hard back as well as hard edges. Let's see how much this case weighs. 45 grams. Let's put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone nicely, feels good in the hand. Buttons are clicky, easily pressable. If we look at the case from the side, you can see there is a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom of the case, and it also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. We also have our cutouts on the bottom here. We have our S Pen, easily accessible. We also have our power button and volume buttons on the other side. In the back, nice and clear. Show off the color of your phone. Peel off the protector. And it looks really nice. As you can see, again, we have that MagSafe ring on the back, and we also have a raised edge around our camera lenses. So if you happen to have a power bank like I have here, you can clip it right onto the back of the case, and it starts to charge your phone. As you can see, the power bank sits flush with the case, and it's got a nice strong magnetic hold on the back of the case as well. So your MagSafe accessory isn't just gonna fall off. This also works with regular wireless charging as well. And we also have some extra protection in the corners as well in case you happen to drop your phone. You don't have to worry about your phone getting damaged. And because there's a nice big cutout around our camera lenses here, this should accommodate the camera protectors as well pretty easily. Now this case does have a rubber coating on the edges of the case as well, but it's a very firm rubber, so you don't have to worry about this, the edges wearing out easily over time. And here we have a life-proof case by Motive. And here is the case. Now this is a two-piece design case. Your phone goes inside the case and then it's kind of covered up on the back here. So no water, no snow, no dirt, anything will get inside this case and it'll keep your phone nice and clean. So inside the case, we get this little lanyard and a little wipe. We get a squeegee. We also get some extra fingerprint sensor stickers as well, our instructions and then the bottom of the case. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to clean off your screen on your phone really well, because anything that's on your screen will get trapped inside the case and you don't want that. So once you've cleaned your phone screen off really well, you're gonna to wanna to take the top of the case. We need to remove this little yellow sticker in here, trying not to touch the inner portion of the screen. Then take your phone and we're going to place it inside the case with the bottom going in first and then press in the top, just like that. Then you're gonna take the back plate, we're gonna place this over our phone, and then just work your way around the case and make sure everything is snapped together. And it should be sealed all the way around the phone. So once that's done, you can peel off the back protector and then do the same thing for the front of your phone. Then make sure the little fingerprint section right here doesn't have any bubbles on it, so just press that down and you're all set. Feels really nice in the hand. It's got a, a nice grippy feel to it. The buttons are also nice and grippy, easily pressable, nice and clicky. If you look at the case from the side, you can see there is a raised edge all the way around the screen, and it does add some extra bulk to the phone, but you're also getting that waterproofing. On the sides here, we have some serrations for grip. 
on the bottom, we have our ports. This little port here is for your microphone and you can switch this little thing to each side depending on if you want it to be waterproof or if you're gonna be using it to talk to somebody on the phone. I'll be letting you listen to what each one of these ports sound like. Then we also have our cover for our S Pen, which you can easily access right there. I'll take that out and we'll test the S Pen on the screen. So the S Pen seems to be working just fine on this screen. This is a film screen protector and there is quite a bit of resistance with the S Pen, but it seems to work just fine. And when you're done, you can put the S Pen back in and then just make, make sure that this is plugged up so it is waterproofed. And we also have a plug for our charging port as well. If we look at the other side, we have that same serration with our rubber power and volume buttons that are separated. And on the back, shows off the color of your phone. It does have some resistance when you touch it. And your camera lenses are also totally protected on the inside. So now let's test out our fingerprints. Touch and fingerprints seem to be working just fine. As you can see, the screen is crystal clear. And again, touch is working perfectly fine. You can access the top and the bottom of the screen. There is, a sl there is some resistance when you run your finger over the screen itself because it's not glass, it is plastic but you can still manage. So now let's see if there's a rainbow effect if you're using polarized sunglasses. So it looks like there's absolutely no rainbow effect on the screen except for the little place where the fingerprint sensor is. I think that's definitely manageable. And then let's check out our camera. Camera looks pretty clear. I don't see any issues with that either. And now let's do the sound test. So again, like I mentioned, this little port on, on the bottom here needs to be switched depending on what you need the case for. If you need it to be waterproofed, you're gonna to wanna to move it to one side and the other side is going to be for talking on the phone. So right now, as it sits, it's open for you to talk on the phone. So let's hear what that sounds like. So this is what the audio sounds like with the port open for you to actually talk to somebody and the phone not be waterproof. So this is what the audio sounds like with the port open for you to actually talk to somebody and the phone not be waterproof. So you can definitely hear very easy through the case, especially with the little port open. And it sounds like your voice being heard on the other end of the line also works really well. So now I'm going to plug up the hole to make it waterproof and we're going to see what the audio quality sounds like then. So this is what the audio quality sounds like with the phone waterproofed and the little microphone hole plugged up. I want to see if there's any difference in the sound quality as well as the audio recording. So this is what the audio quality sounds like with the phone waterproofed and the little microphone hole plugged up. I want to see if there's any difference in the sound quality as well as the audio recording. So there's definitely a difference in the sound quality. It sounded like I was underwater when I was talking on the phone, but if you needed to, to use your phone with it still being waterproofed, I'm sure the person on the other end would still be able to hear you as you heard from the recording but it definitely sounds a lot better when you unplug the microphone port. So now we're gonna put the phone into a vase of water to see if the case actually does what it says it's gonna do and keep your phone nice and dry. All right, so here we have our vase of water. Here we have the life-proof case. It is totally waterproofed. I have the little microphone port set to waterproofing on the side. So now we're gonna play a YouTube video and I'm going to be putting it in this large vase of water. All right, so there we have our YouTube video going, and it's going into the vase. So I'll just let it sit in there for about a minute, and then we'll move it around and take it out. All 
right, so it's been in the vase for about a minute. There have been some water bubbles coming up from the top, so I hope it's still waterproofed. I'll kind of move it around in the vase here a little bit. And we'll take it out and we'll see if the phone is still nice and dry. So the screen is still working as you can see. I'm going to dry it off really well because when I take the case off I don't want any water getting inside that was outside to ruin the test. Phone looks pretty dry to me. Don't see any issues yet. Okay, everything looks nice and dry. Let's test out our camera really quick. <laughs> camera is still working. Our rear camera. As you can see, the rear camera is also nice and clear, even with the protector on it. All right, so I think it's about time to take it out of the case. So, oh, there's actually, all right, make sure my hands are all dry and then we'll take the case off here. So it looks nice and dry to me. There were some water spots from it splashing from the, the outside of the case. Let's push it out. Looks nice and dry on the inside. The water that we see is on the outside of the case. And there's our phone. Nice and dry. So it definitely did its job. No issues. Very nice. So as you saw, the case definitely did its job. It kept my phone nice and dry and also clean. So if you're a person that likes to do outdoor sports, you like to snowboard, uh, water sports, hiking, biking, anything like that, not only is the case going to keep your phone nice and dry, but it's also going to keep it nice and clean and dust free. And then here we have a tempered glass screen protector by Motive. So now let's install the tempered glass screen protector. We get an installation guide two tempered glass screen protectors, two camera protectors, and two installation packets. So first we want to thoroughly clean off our screen with the alcohol wipe, then dry it off. Then take your guide, making sure the top goes up towards the camera, press it into place. Then take one of your screen protectors, peel off the underside protector, and then place the whole screen protector inside the guide. Run your finger down the middle, press down on the guide, lift up. Then we can remove any bubbles we might see, so installation was pretty easy. The screen protector looks pretty nice. The edges of the screen are rounded off. As far as the touch, feels nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. We also do have a cutout for our camera up at the top. There is a edge or a gap all the way around the screen for case compatibility. As far as fingerprints, it does pick up some fingerprints, but we can pretty easily just wipe those away. Just a little bit of force. There we go. Let's test out our fingerprints. Fingerprints seem to be working just so far. No problems there. And there you go. So fingerprints are working well. As you can see, the screen is crystal clear. Things working fine. No issues. Now let's take a look at the screen and see what it looks like looking at it through polarized sunglasses. As you can see, there is a slight rainbow effect. If you're looking at it dead on, it looks pretty clear. But if you start to turn the phone, you get the rainbow. Now let's test out our S Pen. S Pen working fine on the screen. There is a slight bit of resistance. But S Pen working fine. Now let's put it into our clear motive case. It's great inside the case. There's still a gap all the way around the screen, so it's not actually touching the case itself, so it should be compatible with other cases as well. No lifting, no bubbles. Looking good so far. 
And if we look at it from the side, you can see that even with the screen protector, the case still has a raised edge all the way around the screen. So now let's install the rear camera protectors. First you want to clean off your camera lenses really well. Then take your camera lens protector, line it up with the lenses on the phone, peel off the backing, and then just place this over your lenses and press it into place. And there we go. Looks pretty nice. Doesn't add hardly any extra bulk to the back of the phone. Look at our camera. Camera looks really clear. Don't see any issues there. So you shouldn't have any issues using your camera with this protector on there. Now let's put it in our case again, see how well that fits. And it fits perfectly inside the motive case. Very nice. So now you have some extra protection. You have your raised edge as well as the camera protectors to protect your camera lenses. So, so far so good. Now let's move on to the scratch and the drop test. So we're going to be dropping a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a starting height of 2 feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So let's start off at 2 feet. Moving on to 3 feet. Moving on to 4 feet. 5 feet. 5 feet. So this screen protector lasted up until a five foot drop. Now let's move on to the scratch test. So typically tempered glass starts to scratch around a Mohs hardness number six. So we're gonna start off with a number five. Then a number six. And then a number seven. So if we take a closer look, you can see that there are no scratches at the number five. There are slight at the number six and a little deeper at the number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be a little bit better than regular tempered glass. So installation for the screen protector was really easy. It also does seem to work well with the in-display fingerprint sensor and the S Pen. It also seems to be case friendly. It lasted up until a five foot drop and scratch resistance seems to be a little bit better than regular tempered glass. So now let's test the scratch resistance of the rear cameras. So again, we'll start off with the number five. We'll move on to a number six, and then finally a number seven. So if you take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are slight at a number six, and about the same at the number seven. So scratch resistance, again, seems to be a little bit better than regular tempered glass. So again, these were the protection accessories by Motive. I really did like the life-proof case. It really kept my phone nice and dry and safe from drops and anything else that I come across. And we also had the nice clear case that has the MagSafe ring and is drop tested up to 12 feet. Which one of these accessories was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And again, if you guys want to pick any of these up, I will be putting product links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.